Okay, so now we will discuss the pandas index object. We have seen here that both the series and data frame objects contain an explicit index that lets you reference and modify data. This index object is an interesting structure in itself and it can be thought of earlier either as an immutable array or as an ordered set. Technically, a multi set as index objects may contain repeated values. Those views have some interesting consequences in the operations available on index objects. As a simple example, let's construct an index from a list of integers. I and D D D dot two three five seven eleven. Two three five seven eleven. Oh, just dead off the numbers lock button. Two three five seven eleven. Two three five seven eleven. I've got this. I've got this. I and T. So now index as immutable array. The index object in many ways operates like an array. For example, we can use standard Python indexing notation to retrieve values or slices. IMD 1 IMD 2 Index objects also have many of the attributes familiar with NumPy arrays. <coughs> Print size ind dot shape ind dot dim ind dot d type So one difference between index objects and numpy arrays is that indices are immutable, that is they cannot be modified via the normal means. Now we will get an error. D one equals to zero. We'll get the error and we have to like look at the trace back and the type of error it is. So now the type of error is that type error index does not support mutable operations. This immutability makes it safer to share indices between multiple data frames and arrays without the potential for side effects from inadvertent index modification. Now let's discuss index <coughs> as ordered set. Pandas objects are designed to facilitate operations such as joins across data sets which depend on many aspects of set arithmetic. The index object follows many of the conventions used by Python's built-in set data structure so that unions, intersections, differences, and other combinations can be computed uh, in a familiar way. Right. IND A is equals to DD dot index. One three five seven nine. One three five seven nine. I N D B is equals to P D dot index. Two three five seven eleven. Two three five seven eleven. Now I N D A and I N D B. That is intersection. We got this. So now I and D A will use vertical line. That means or that is union. Here it is union. Now, IND 
heliosymmetric difference got this so these operations may also be accessed via object matters for example ind dot intersection in the bracket indp